In today's video, I'm gonna show you this insane RC Royal Ghost deck. We have the Royal Ghost for making the RC and the Valkyrie invisible so that the RC will be safe from the enemy's Royal Ghost and the Valkyrie will shut down the enemy. And the giant skeleton with the golden giant for tanking and the spear goblin? You know why we have him. Now, without more talking, let's jump to the first game. Alright, looks like we are facing a wave master player and good electro tile position for, by me and if i put my spear goblin in front of his electro tile the wave master will go on top of my rc which i don't want to happen so i will put the spear goblin in there and the valkyrie in the front now let's see nice value from the spear goblin i guess we traded our spear goblins not bad and the wave master's ability has been cancelled by the rc that's really huge now one reset from the royal champion and this should be the win for us i guess nice yes let's go easy win in round number one now in round number two i will put down the giant skeleton and reroll and nice i wanted the royal ghost and it's clear that he will put down the spear goblin in front of my electro tile so i will move the skeleton army like this I think it will not be so bad, right? And the spear goblin on front of his electro tile, and but he did not use his electro tile. That was a clever uh, move by him. Nice one reset from the royal champion, but no, I think that ghost placement was really bad by me, and we are taking the L in here because of that bad placement. So in here we learned that putting the ghost army in the middle is not something that you want to do with this deck. Now the ghost army to the right and I will upgrade this valkyrie as well and reroll and I will put down the golden giant and reroll hopefully we will get oh no I wanted another valkyrie but anyways I will cycle those golden giants and I will cycle the spear goblin as well and I will move the golden giant on top of the electro tile because why not now let's see nice spear goblin value by me oh no his uh, valkyrie is eating my royal champion and the boom Oh, what's happening in here? Come on, his Valkyrie is down. His uh, Wave Master is down as well. And I think this will be the win for us. Let's go. I don't know how he won that. But in the end, it's our win. And now in round number four, you know what? Upgrading the Giant Skeleton is not that bad. So I will upgrade him to the Stun Duration and Reroll. And I will upgrade the Valkyrie as well to the second ability. And... I will move the golden giant to the electric tile maybe you know what no I want the enemy to target my giant skeleton and not the golden giant and now let's see he missed his spear goblin that's really huge and I got the first valkyrie shot the RC is protected from the wave master's ability the RC's ability is going on and it is clear from now that we will win this match against this dirty wave master player Actually, this deck is not that bad against Wave Master player because the RC will always be protected from the Wave Master and the Ghost Army. Now we are at match number two and we are facing BK this time. And I almost forgot, I have just made a Discord server for my YouTube channel. And in there, I mentioned the best decks for every Nightmare Lava Golem abilities and some tips on how to use it. And if you want to chat with me in there, the link is in description. Feel free to join if you want. Okay, let's get back to the game insane value from the spear goblin. That Valkyrie swing was really insane. Six damage per hit and one reset from the royal champion. But the question is, is this enough? Because the BK is really annoying for the royal champion. One HP. Oh my goodness. The royal champion is down, but the spear goblin carries us in this round. Let's go. I know my opponent's deck. I have made a video about it. So in this matchup, Making your royal champion invisible is not something you want to do. So in here I will just put down the giant skeleton with the golden giant and I will move my units like this. I will stack them in the in one tile because he has clash abilities and the golden giant in backline to tank for his for his archer. And nice. Now the golden giant is doing a good job in the backline. Now oh no no reset from the royal champion. That's not good. Now the giant skeleton bomb Come on, Royal Champion! Oh no! The King's ability uh, counters my Royal Champion ability really perfectly. Can the Spear Goblin clutch it in here? I don't think so. This will not be an easy matchup because 
He has the Dark Goblin as well, and that's a really big problem for my Royal Champion. Now, I will put down the Royal Ghost and upgrade the Valkyrie to the Healing Cut. Because that is more valuable thing for us, I think. Now, I will just make the Valkyrie invisible, because that is uh, the only thing we, we must do. Making the Royal Champion invisible is not th uh, something you want to do, because he has the Prince and he missed his clash abilities again now he has the dark goblin and that's a little bit uh, scary to be honest no ability from his king that's really huge for us i think yeah this should be the win for us the archer is down by the royal champion and the next one will be the dark goblin let's go round three easy victory now in round number four you know what i will just upgrade my valkyrie to the three star and move here to the middle i think that's not expected and i will move my golden giant with the rc to the middle as well and the spear goblin one tile to the up so that the so that his archer will target my golden giant and now let's see okay he just hit my royal ghost with the prince but the value from the valkyrie is re just really insane one reset from the royal champion another one and that dark goblin deals a lot of damage come on valkyrie and an easy victory for my Valkyrie in there against his Dart Goblin. And let's go, that was win streak number 7. Oh my goodness, this is the matchup that we want to see. We are facing Lev today, top 10 player in the world right now. This will be fire. So in the first round, I will just put down the giant skeleton with the golden giant. And if you do it now, if you position your minis like this, you can sometimes may uh, bait the wave master's ability and like you see in here now the wave master's ability will be baited by the golden giant let's go that's a dub for me come on we are going to get the value from that bomb but i don't think this is enough the feeling lonely comes down but the musketeer is just so annoying for my royal champion so wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute let's go that was really unexpected the feeling lonely comes in clutch in here that was really amazing. Now in round number 2, Spear Golem for baiting the Wave Master and the Valkyrie are now reroll and nice. I wanted that ghost. I will scrap the Golden Giant and cycle the Giant Skeleton and create the Ghost Army in there. I will keep the Spear Golem in the middle because he has the Ghost Army as well, right? The middle will always be value for my Spear Goblin and like you see, he got the value with the Spear Goblin as well. And my royal champion is safe from his wave master ability. The reset comes off and his speed goblin will be down. And I think this will be the victory for us in here. Because we have two and he is one. Come on ghost. Good ability fight by the royal champion. And now the feeling lonely will come out. And come on royal champion one ability please. Come on. Oh no I hate level 10 wave master. It is just so broken. Okay, let's forget about that one. Now in this round, I will switch my ghost army to the other side and upgrade my giant skeleton to the stun duration and the golden giant as well. I will put him down. You know what? I will move the golden giant one tile to the left because I think that's the better thing. Like that, everyone will target my giant skeleton. And now let's see. Okay, looks like he upgraded his mini P.E.K.K.A to the Dissipate, but the mini P.E.K.K.A goes away from my Royal Champion, which is, which is so great. And the RC Shield cancels the Wave Master ability, that's huge! But the mini P.E.K.K.A is dissipating my Royal Champion, oh no! Come on! The Giant Skeleton's Bomb! The Giant Skeleton's Bomb comes in clutch, stunning the mini P.E.K.K.A, and like that, we got the ability and shut it down his Wave Master in the last. Let's go! And now in round number 4, I will upgrade my Valkyrie to the first ability and reroll and I will upgrade my Valkyrie as well to the second ability. I think that's the better one. And I will switch my Ghost Army to the other side. And I will keep everything just like this. That's the, bit, uh, that's the best thing that I can do. Now let's see. We are always getting the spear value. And... Why the RC move with one tile to the middle? That's not good. The Wave Master stuns my Royal Champion and that is looking really bad. We got one reset, but another reset. But that will not be enough in here. I think we must position the Ghost Army 
right in front of his ghost army like that my royal champion will not move now in here i will upgrade my uh, spear goblin to more damage so that we can kill his valkyrie fastly and i will upgrade the valkyrie as well to the three star now she will become a killing machine and i will just keep everything like this if he switches to the right hand side we will be in a really good position now let's see the spear goblin will get the value for sure and yes sir he switched to the other side that means his wave master will not be able to stun my royal champion one reset two reset and three reset come on wake up valkyrie why my valkyrie was stunned so long like that oh no the musky is really annoying that's a two star musky come on valkyrie go go valkyrie and we won against left to die let's go that's insane actually this deck is not really bad against wave master players and now let's go and take a look to see if he was in top 10 or no so in here and he's in top 11 looks like we have cost him like minus 40 in here that's really painful anyways ggs and we'll play to left to die one of the best players in the game right now and that was the end of this video i hope you enjoy it and don't forget the discord link is in description feel free to join if you want and peace out hey you yeah you if you played against monk with this deck don't make your royal champion invisible if you did that you will get